Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another very rare, born free. This is a Class B plus Class C motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. And folks, I've got a treat for you today. Uh, not only do I have one of the rarest motorhomes on the uh, used market, I have two of them. First time in, in, in the, all the decades we've been in business, we've ever had two of these at the same time. And I'm, I have no doubt in my mind, I'm the only dealer on the planet right now that has two of these for under $30,000 each. Folks, let me tell you about Born Freeze. They're called the world's safest motorhomes. It's the only brand that uses inch and a half tubular steel frame construction all the way around six-sided cage frame. They've been around since 1969. Uh, they use a motor yacht quality fiberglass on these. They're very expensive new, and uh, no one has ever died in a born free due to an auto accident. And that's been that way for almost 50 years now. These things brand new, they start at $140,000 and there's a six to eight month waiting list to buy one at that price. They don't make many of these, they concentrate on quality over quantity. And the, the demand for these is astronomical. I have no doubt in my mind, both of these are gonna be sold in the next few days. There are people that spend months, sometimes years, on the internet looking for a used born free in this price range. Well, guess what, folks? I have two of them. Two distinctly different floor plans. I'm gonna shoot a separate video on each one. Um, so, and I'll put the link in the item description to the other, to the other born free so you can compare them. Uh, this particular one is the side bed, side bath floor plan. They're both 24 feet long, which is their most popular size. Uh, this particular one, like I said, it's the corner bed, corner bath, has 80,000 miles, which is not even broke in for one of these. Beautiful condition, like I said, folks, this, this, this isn't just that thin fiberglass they put on other brands. This is the same thickness fiberglass that they put on motor yachts. <laughs> All fiberglass roof, of course, very, very low maintenance. Unit's got a 4KW Onan generator. Ride and drive like a dream. These things are built heavy, folks, and the heavier it is, the better it's gonna ride and drive. This is about 2,500 pounds heavier than your average Class B or C motorhome. About 13,000 pounds each. And like I said, folks, if you wanna buy one of these brand new, spend 140, 150 grand, that's where they start at. You, even if you decide to take that plunge, you're talking six to eight month waiting list to order one and to get it in. And this is a good looking coach. The kind of people that buy these born freeze folks are usually RV fanatics. They usually take extremely good care of these and they don't stay on the market very long. You can look online you're going to find maybe four or five born freeze in this price range and i have two of them here <laughs> so really blessed and fortunate to have this 4kw onan generator uh, we're going to make sure everything works great on it the striping the finish is in phenomenal condition for a 2000 model and like i said these these things the people that usually buy these take extremely good care of them keep them under cover and you can tell these are designed to be as easy to drive and park as a full-size van or full-size SUV. The glass is perfect. 6.8 liter Triton V10, 305 horsepower, 420 pound-feet of torque. More than enough power to take this little motorhome down the road. You're only talking about a motorhome that's three foot longer than your standard half-ton pickup truck. Three feet longer, that's it. Like I said, all fiberglass, very aerodynamic, all steel, not aluminum, all steel frame. It costs a lot of money to build them like that, but when you have a reputation like Born Free does, you don't spare any expense, and that's why they start out at $140,000. Even back in 2000 model, folks, this RV was starting at $75,000 plus, and uh, we're almost double that today. Let's take a look inside this 24-foot Born Free. I mean, the quality 
even even from when you open the door this door is probably 150 pounds by itself it would take two men if you un, if you uninstalled this door and took it off it would take two men to carry it i mean these things are insulated they're built up north they're designed for any kind of weather north america can throw at it and they are nice i'm gonna go ahead and lock the door because i'm sure two of these things anybody that knows born freeze sees two of these together they're going to have a fit for two of these together under thirty thousand dollars because nobody's got them i'm very lucky to have to have bought these two and i probably never have two of these again in, in this price range uh the front cab has got leather chairs they look great it's got eighty thousand seven hundred miles like i said tons of life left to it I mean, you look at what these things costing you now. I mean, you're saving a lot of money. Dash air is ice cold, and what's neat about that dash air in a 24-foot motorhome is that it will pretty much keep the rest of the RV comfortable. So you don't have to run your generator and your roof air if you don't want to. Unless, I mean, if you're in 90-degree weather, 100-degree weather, yeah, you probably will if you've got passengers, but... Most of the time, you can just keep that dash air and dash heat and keep this size motor home comfortable. Like I said, folks, this isn't much bigger than a full-size van. TV, all oak cabinets. These are all solid wood oak cabinets. Uh, this table right here, now it is movable. It's on a swivel. This is a factory table. So you can set it over there in front of the sofa. You can move it over to this side here. You can move it right here. I mean, it's flexible. Uh, I'm not hiding anything. The sofas look great. This is a sleeper sofa. Removable cup holders. You've got a privacy curtain that goes all the way around the cab. I mean, they actually put it on a track. You know, most most branches give you Velcro tabs and a piece of cloth to cover the to cover the cab area for privacy. But Born Free actually puts a real curtain up there. Day night shades. And like I said, folks, just uh. There's nothing cheap about this motorhome the way it's built. I mean, everything in this is heavy. I mean, that's why these things have almost a cult following. Um, so they left uh, some belts and an air filter in here for a spare. Solid, I mean, this wood, that's a solid oak door, folks. Carpeted headliner, and like I said, solid one-piece roof, fiberglass, so very, very little maintenance. Uh, you've got a side kitchen, microwave, stove top. It's got the uh, six cubic foot Norcold two-way refrigerator freezer, and we'll make sure that works perfectly. Duo Therm Penguin. And this is neat too, folks. This unit's got a furnace. It's also got a heat pump. So you've got electric and gas heat, two, heat, uh, two heating options. That's a nice feature right there to have. Most motorhomes don't have that. This one has got the corner full-size bed. Lots of overhead storage. Outside vanity. And you open this door up and you've got a corner bathroom. And all fiberglass, molded fiberglass shower. And it actually, lower, is actually the shower is right there at floor level. So you actually got a lot of hot in here. You don't need a, a skylight in other words. Because Born Free is not going to put anything on their motorhomes that, that's going to wear out quick. That's why they don't put skylights in them. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, folks, and if you're looking for a small motorhome to travel in, this is a great choice. It's insulated. You know, that's important. If you're going to do a cross-country trip, you never know. You might be in 30-degree weather one day, 70 the next. You want something that's insulated and that can handle any kind of weather where you go. If you ever get in an accident, heaven forbid, you want something that you're going to be safe in. This is the world's safest motorhome. That's all steel frame. Most, you know, other brands use aluminum, and aluminum's all right. But steel is 70% stronger than aluminum. You've got this uh, motor yacht uh, fiberglass. Three times as thick as what they put on other RVs. So you don't have the delamination issues like you do with the cheaper RVs with the cheaper fiberglass. And plus, it's going to hold its shine for years longer than the other brands because there's a lot more fiberglass there and it's a lot better quality fiberglass to hold its shine. You can buff and wax this thing and it'll look like a brand new penny. 
The floor looks great. There's no carpet in it, which I like. You can sleep up to four. And like I said, these are ideal for a couple because you don't have a slide out to worry about. In other words, if you're going to be stopping and starting and pulling into one place and leaving the next morning, if you want to travel, this is ideal for that because you don't even have to get out of your motor home. You just pull up, swivel around, and here you are. <laughs> don't have to worry about slide outs. You don't have to worry about, uh, you can run the generator from in here. You don't have to worry about any of that. You've got oversized tanks in this motor home. I mean, these are designed for the traveling couple. I mean, this is, you know, if you want something that's just easy to get in and out, easy to park, easy to use, and something that's going to last you for decades, this is your coach. Um, both of these, I'm, I'm going to shoot the other one here in a minute. It's got a different floor plan in it. Um, but you're going to like either one of these you buy, folks. You're going to be very surprised when you see them. And for those of you who know Born Freeze, I don't even have to try to sell you. You're, you're already picking up the phone and, and probably calling us if you're in the market for a Born Free and you're familiar with the Born Free. Uh, this unit's $29.9, haggle free. Financing is available. Interest rates as low as 4% with approved credit. We're going to give you a major systems check by our certified RV technicians to be completed after purchase, which I have no doubt in my mind. Everything's fine. Um, I mean, but I'm not RV tech. We're going to check it out, make sure everything's good. Now, folks, please look at the date that I shot this video because if this is video is more than a week or two weeks old, chances are it's already long gone. Uh, you just don't realize I get calls every single week. You got any used born freeze? You got any used born freeze? I mean, I get emails constantly. Born Freeze and Chinooks are two brands that everybody wants. They have almost a cult following, just like an Airstream. And they're just extremely uh, they're hard to find used. The, the demand for them is unreal because of how well they're built. I mean, I personally would take an older Born Free over a newer and the other brands because these things are built like tanks. I mean, these things are solid. That's why they're so heavy and that's why they're so expensive new. They're built to last. And I like Born Free because, like I said, they're the safest motorhome in the world. Nobody has ever died as a result of a traffic accident in a Born Free. Thanks to that 70% stronger frame than what most other brands have. So, folks, give us a call. It's 29.9 while it lasts. 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423 six zero five six seven four seven you can visit our website parkwayrvcenter.com or dot net you can email us sales at parkway rv center you can like us on facebook you can follow us on instagram twitter or on youtube obviously you can subscribe to my youtube channel i've got over five thousand subscribers and a great archive of videos you can look through going back several years um in these born freeze folks i'm I'll be honest with you, I wish I had a lot full of them. But there are literally maybe four or five for sale in the country right now under $30,000. And I've got two of them here. So <laughs> do some research on them before you call. You need to learn what, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with this brand, this is a brand you need to get familiar with because once you own a Born Free, you'll always have a Born Free. Like I said, they, the customer loyalty is just amazing. Now, folks, this is a 2000 model. I'm going to go ahead and get my disclaimer out of the way. This is a 17-year-old motorhome. Granted, it's probably one of the nicest 17-year-old motorhomes on the market today and definitely one of the rarest, but it is 17 years old. Uh, you look at what these things cost you, how much you save going used over new. I mean, you're talking well over $100,000 in savings over a 17 model. Of course, that $100,000 plus in savings comes with a price that everybody has to pay when they buy used, and that is everything on this motorhome in this particular instance is 17 years old. The interior, the exterior, the appliances, the plumbing, everything in this motorhome, folks, has 17 years, except for the tires, of course, has 17 years worth of age and use. So it's not going to be perfect. There's no such thing. If I could make this a perfect, light new motorhome, it would be $140,000 instead of $29,900. 
So keep in mind that savings means you're going to have to deal with some imperfections. What we concentrate on is we go through these things and make sure everything works on our major systems check, which covers your refrigerator, your roof air, it covers your plumbing and LP systems, making sure they work like they're supposed to with no leaks. We check the water heater, make sure it works. The furnace, uh, all the uh, plumbing appliances, we check lights, we check all the cabinets, drawers, we make sure the sofa folds out into a bed like it's supposed to. Um, we check, you know, all that. We make sure the ride and drive is, is like it's supposed to be. That's what we check out, folks. Cosmetic stuff, that's part of buying a used motor home. If, if there's a ding, dent, scratch, worn spot inside or out, that just goes with it. I can't make them new without asking a new price. So if you're the kind of buyer that has always purchased new RV or new, ca or new cars, new construction homes, new everything else, buying a used RV may not be the right choice and I'm not trying to discourage sales folks I have to say this because there's so many people out there that and you would be surprised that don't know what used means and you would think that adults know that but a lot of them don't a lot of them think used means you're getting a used price but you're getting a new motor home and that's just not possible um, so and folks we sell five to six hundred used RVs a year and I'm not trying to discourage business but we don't have time to deal with problems and drama um, if, if you're the kind of buyer that it demands perfection, I just assume you go buy a brand new one or go somewhere else because we just frankly don't have time to deal with that. We sell, like I said, five to six hundred used RVs a year. We've got the lowest prices on the internet. We've got more used RVs in stock than any dealer within a 500 mile radius of us. We've got uh, currently over 170. And for those born free shoppers, you know you can't just go to your neighborhood RV dealer and find one of these, especially not for this price. So keep that in mind, folks. You know, we, we just don't have time to deal with drama and problems. We don't want to deal with drama and problems any more than you do. So uh, if you understand what used means, what it entitles you, you know that you're going to save a ton of money coming here and buying a used RV. And you know that it's not going to be perfect. That everything's going to work on it. When you take it to the campground, you're not going to have any issues. But as long as you understand that, then we, you're going to love doing business with us because we're going to save you a lot of money and sell you one of the nicest used 2000 models on the market today. But like I said, if you are the kind of buyer that's picky, that demands perfection, I just assume you buy, go spend 140, 150 grand, wait about eight months, and buy you a brand new one, uh, born free. All right, folks. Sorry I have to do that, but that just eliminates problems before they start. Um, you you got to realize that. I have multiple buyers lined up for just about every RV we sell. So I just, um, it's just, just like I said, it, it's, it's just stops problems before it starts. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to the tour. Like I said, it sleeps four, it's 80,000 miles. Uh, we just drove this one 400 plus miles, uh, towing a car behind it. So the running and driving is great. Of course, my RV techs will drive and I do have a mechanic on staff too. Uh, an actual ASC certified mechanic that will personally drive this motor home, see if there's any issues that need to be addressed, um, which I'm sure there won't be, but you never know. And and what I meant to say too, when we check these things out, folks, we'll spend however much it takes to make it past our inspection. In other words, if we have to put a new refrigerator, if we have to put a new air on it, or a new generator, we're going to spend thousands of dollars and do that without going up on the price one penny. So keep that in mind, folks. We're going to do whatever it takes to make this RV pass the inspection no matter what it costs. That's why we have haggle-free pricing, because we put the price out there. We have out-the-door pricing. There's no extra fees. You go to these other dealers, they'll advertise something for thirty grand, but they're going to start adding two or $3,000 in dock fees, prep fees, tag fees, title fees, processing fees, freight fees get ready fees and everything else and all those fees are 100 percent dealer profit folks just a way for them to scam you out of paying more for the rv by disguising the extra profit in the form of extra fees the only thing you're required to pay when you buy any vehicle is the sales price and any applicable sales tax the way sales tax work in georgia if you're a georgia resident since we're a licensed bonded and insured georgia rv dealer for over 49 years is that you pay us the what they call the TAVT tax, which is basically sales tax, 
when you purchase this RV. If you come from out of state, like most of our buyers do, you'll pay your sales tax when you tag and title this motorhome at your local DMV office in your home state. What we do is uh, we do give you a 45 day temporary drive out tag free of charge, good anywhere in the country. And um, you know, that way you can get it home, you can use it, and it gives you a, a month, a little over a month before you gotta pay your sales tax. A lot of times, if you're gonna finance an RV, you can finance a sales tax in with it. Just talk to your salesperson, he'll explain all that. I don't have commissioned salespeople, so that means no games, no gimmicks, no extra money you don't realize it folks but it costs you thousands of dollars more to buy from a commission salesperson because in lieu of paying people salary or paying by the hour like we pay our salespeople, other dealers use commission salespeople that don't make a dime unless they sell something so it, it doesn't cost another rv dealer any more to keep 40 salespeople than it does to keep four and um bad thing about that is to keep the salespeople there they have to promise them huge rewards when they sell an RV because a lot of these other dealers, folks, they're lucky to sell one or two a month for each salesperson. So what they do is they offer them 25% of the gross profit. That's the industry standard commission rate. What? Why is that bad for you is simple. That RV dealer, on top of everything else and all the fees they're going to charge, they have to mark their units up an additional 25% to cover the salesperson's commission. And not only that, but that salesperson, because they know unless they talk you into buying, they're not getting paid a dime, they're going to put all the pressure on you, all the games, all the gimmicks that everybody hates. They're not going to want to deal with you folks. They're not going to want to negotiate. A lot of people don't know this either, but if you have a trade-in and you go to a lot that has commission salespeople, let's just say your trade-in has a book has a trade-in value of $20,000 in the NADA. If they talk you into taking 15000 for it, they get commission on how far under market value they get you to take for your trade-in. So in other words, because they talked you into taking five grand less for your trade, they picked up an extra $1,250 in commission. So every dime, every dollar they squeeze out of you folks is another 25 cents in their pocket. So it makes it real hard to deal with somebody on a major purchase when you know that in the back of your head they're trying to squeeze you for everything they can. It's like, you know, and they're always going to want to move you toward the unit that has the biggest markup, like a trade-in, so they can make the biggest commission, whether if it's the one that meets your needs or not. We've eliminated that problem, folks, here. We have four salary-based salespeople. They get paid the same every single week. It doesn't matter if you buy one from us. It doesn't matter if you go somewhere else and buy one. This way, there's no sales pressure. We're the only lot in the area that you can actually come into when we're open and get out of your car and look around without being escorted by one of by a salesperson. You can come look at your own leisure. Everything's marked on the windshield. Everything's open, so you can make yourself at home. We like we like to let the RV sell itself instead of the salesperson have to talk you into it because I don't like I said I don't have time to deal with drama and problems, and I don't want people buying an RV then regretting it two or three days later. I would rather. You decide, because everybody here is an adult, and everybody buying one of these is an adult, and I don't believe that you have to put a gun to somebody's head to make them buy something. If they want to buy it, they'll come in and buy it. If they don't want to buy it or they're not sure, well, they won't buy it. And I would rather buy one, I'd rather sell one to somebody that's ready to buy, that knows what they want, makes it easier for all parties involved. And uh, that's why we don't have commission salespeople because, like I said, that costs you more money when you buy from a commission salesperson and it causes a lot more stress in the deal because they're going to play the games and gimmicks that everybody hates. Thank you for watching my video. Like I said, I'll have the link below to the other Born Free video. I'm about to, as soon as I end this one, I'm going to shoot it. Let us know if we can help you folks. Uh, ParkwayRVCenter.com, over 170 plus used RVs in stock. Lowest prices on the internet. 49 plus years in business, one of the largest, oldest, and most successful independently owned, family operated used RV dealerships in the United States today. Folks, we pretty much seen and done it all. Um, so <laughs> we trade for just about anything that we can sell, legally sell, and um, you know, give us a call. We, we'd be glad to help you out. We're, we've been doing this a long time. We have decades of experience into our third generation now. So. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.